Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to the last Alchemy video. And we're going to be revisiting an old friend, Creation Club's Rare Curios mod. And I don't normally ask this, but uh, if you do like my work, then please leave a like and maybe even a comment. It really helps the channel out. Anyway, I won't mention that again. Let's crack on. Now, as many of you who watch my Rare Curios mod review have realized that I really love this mod, uh, despite some flaws, and would probably put it up there as one of my favorite Creation Club mods to date, and certainly one of them with the best value. Anyway, that mod review turned more into a kind of guide than a review, as we were given such little information by Bethesda on how the whole thing works. So if you are getting or have the mod, but don't know how it all works, please watch that review. In this video, we'll be giving the mod a bit more love and demonstrate some of the awesome potions you can create. Uh, just a bit of housekeeping before we start. Uh, there's timestamps in the video description with full descriptors of each potion. Uh, sadly, and for some weird reason, YouTube isn't allowing me to hyperlink the stamps, so you just have to uh, scrub to that particular time. I also received quite a few comments from people on my last uh, Rare Curious video. And in particular, one YouTuber called Nitro Crate who actually gave me most of these recipes. So kudos to him. And I've included a link to his channel. So go check him out. Now, remember, guys, we're only scratching the surface here. And there's plenty more potions waiting to be discovered. Now, before we dive into the recipes themselves, I have to mention one aspect of this mod missed by many people and that it gives you the ability to create crossbow bolts which tie in nicely with elite crossbow mod also from creation club uh, i go into these in great details uh, in that mod review so go check out that video if you want info on them however i made a mistake in that re review i gave the impression you could craft these without joining the dawn guard however i need to make it clear you do have to join the dawn guard for these to become available to be crafted which is a real shame um no one's mentioned anything uh uh yet about it but still it's my bad apologies if anybody was confused okay so i will only be doing commentary on the four potions that are unique to the rare curios mod three of them have a little demo video the rest i'll just ramp up the music and then give my final thoughts at the end of this video oh and a little caveat we're all at different stages in alchemy and enchanting so on so we'll be getting different results from the one shown so uh, bear that in mind and uh, already there's a lot of recipes here so let's get started with the first four that can only be created with the rare curious mod downloaded let's crack on and we're starting off with a really brilliant one, Spell Absorption. And it's a rare effect that simultaneously provides defense by negating hostile spells and restoration and by refilling your magical reserves. And use any two of the following, a Blind Watcher's Eye, Coneberry, Daedra Venin, Fire Petal, Lycor, Watcher's Eye, or Withering Moon. And you have a look at that, it absorbs 50% of the Magicka from hostile spells for 2,844 seconds. And destruction spells are 284% stronger for 60 seconds. That's just mental. That's from mental, really. And if we have a look here in the effects, okay, nom the potion. And we just see in here. Where is it? There you go. There you go. Works like a charm. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, let's crack on to the next one. And next up is Cure Poisons, which heals any negative effects caused by poisons. It's only available from built-in potions and can't be created with their alchemy without rare curios. And use any two of the following, Ambrosia, Bitter Green Petals, Hunger Tongue, Imp Gall, Red Wart Flower, Rue Brush and Scrib Jelly. And it simply does whatever it says on the tin. Stops poisons, continuing effects. So let's move on. And coming up, a slightly more exciting one is a Night Eye, which allows the caster to see in the dark, making the entire field of view brighter. It's of limited use during the daytime, though. Um, use into the following a Blister Pod Cap, Daedra Silk, a Kaguti Hide, Watcher's Eye, and Worm's Head. 
caps. This really is a, a handy, this one. Okay, magic has increased by 278 points, 60 seconds, and improved night vision for 3,330 seconds. Now, the only issue of that is what happens when uh, uh, it's over and done with anyway. So let's actually uh, glug a potion and see what it's like. 3,330 seconds is ridiculous. Don't forget we will be getting different figures on that though. Um, okay, there you go. And it's made me invisible as well. There you go. So yeah, it can, this actually be really handy down in uh, tombs and catacombs and stuff like that. The only question I do have though is how do you stop it after 3,200 seconds? You have to do the wait feature. Haven't checked it out, you guys can check it out. But anyway, this is bloody awesome. Okay, let's crack on to something that I think is even better. Okay, the fourth and final uh, Recuros only potion, well, I've actually been able to find so far anyway, uh, is the potion of light and use into the following alocasia fruit, a blind watcher's eye, daydroth teeth, hydnam azure giant spore. I think that's how you spell it or say it indeed. Okay, so emits a small light that lasts for again 3,330 seconds. Though I don't think that's going to be as intrusive as Night Eye. Okay, and now let's go and have a look at it in action. We'll just a normal potion. And right, potion of light. There you go. And there you go. This is awesome. Absolutely awesome. Because the light is just right if you're hunting around for stuff. Um, as we all know, because sometimes torches and uh, mage light give off a kind of weird light, uh, lots of shadows and stuff. This seems to be much better. And this is dead handy. And I think this is something that I'll be using a lot of. Yeah, that looks pretty damn cool. Okay, so that's the four potions that are rare curious only. I'm now just going to go back to a music and if you see something you like in the following potions, just pause the video and a timestamps are in the video description. I'll see you the other side with my final rare curious mod review. See you in a minute.
Okay, my final thoughts on this mod. Well, most of it still stands from the last review. Relatively speaking, I think this is possibly the best value mod of all the Creation Club mods so far. It encourages a different style of play and the potions created are genuinely useful. Plus throwing in the crossbow bolts makes this mod a must have if you're willing to pay for a mod. The downsides are again, even though rare is in the title, these are far, far too rare and it takes an age to collect every ingredient, let alone enough to make them a regular part of your gameplay. So you have to use these potions sparingly. Maybe that's the idea, I don't know. Uh, there are mods that add these ingredients to a normal merchants, so that may take a bit of the sting away. I'm really disappointed that we can't grow at least some of the ingredients or hunt them down in other ways, but all in all, I love this mod. It's relatively cheap and offers a lot, so you can't really grumble at that, can you? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and indeed the whole Alchemy series, and even more importantly, you found it useful. Love you. See you next time. Later. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and hit the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribed, obviously. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter. See you later.